Ahoy there, Captain Goujon here, and welcome to Abzu. I believe that's how we pronounce it, Abzu. And I'm I'm thinking this game is going to be sort of like a little indie game, similar to Ico or Journey, where you just sort of experience the game. And I'm kind of into that right now, so I thought I'd play something else like it, since I'm playing Life is Strange as well. And it seems like a complimentary game. And what gives it away as an absolute diamond already is that if you go into options. There's a graphical option for fish. Now, I don't think that's been done before, so I am dead impressed. So, let's jump into it. I have a feeling already that it's going to be ridiculously, ridiculously good looking. Those water effects. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be like a twist on Free Willy. Probably shouldn't expect that, but he's solid disappointed. We're going all the way down to space? That's not how it works. I often forget that that's not where space is. Oh. I'm assuming that's my main character that I'm playing as. It's a pretty sweet swimsuit, though. Are oh, those his feet? But he has actual walking around. Not easy. Wow. While simple, it looks fucking incredible. Press what to dive? Oh, that one. Oh, sick. I love the music in this sort of game as well. It's always spot on. Sets the mood perfectly. A to boost. Wow. I'll properly go to town. Oh, fishy. Hello, fishy. You look miserable. Oh, I can ride fish. Is this the game that was made for me? I think it was. Probably faster just doing this on my own. God damn! Oh, sick! I could do diving as well. It's always the simplistic games that sort of take my breath away. You know, the graphics don't look real. They're not trying to look real. They're just doing them. Oh, cool. It's like an underwater drone. I like the fact that it just drops you in without explaining anything as well. Leave it to your imagination. Confused. Oh, okay. So, X is interact with pretty much everything. Good to know. Uh oh. Good 
going to assume that sharks aren't friendly and you don't want to tangle with them. But at playing of games like this, very therapeutic, quite relaxing. Come on, go down. What's this thing down there? Yes, there is. Let's get it. I don't know what that did, but it did something good. I wonder when Nemo's going to turn up. Controls feel nice and fluid as well. Pretty dark down here. Let's see what's in this big old glowing pot of blue. I feel like I'm totally in control, but I'm actually not. It's some some areas have sort of dragged me in and fuck. These are the sort of games that don't really have to explain themselves. Super Saiyan. So am I swimming underwater but on top of some water as well? I don't know why I'm asking the question, it's not going to just go, yes, yes you are. Playing for seven minutes and all this shit's already happened. We must have some serious stuff planned if they do something so sort of this spectacular just to start you off. Either that or the game's gonna be an enormous disappointment. But I've heard good things. I know I'm a bit late on the bandwagon, but I don't like to miss out, and I thought it'd be a good game to to play with you guys. So I find myself I actually enjoy playing games more when I know people are going to watch it. Just, just makes more sense. It's kind of cool, Egyptians, maybe. Oh god. Oh no. I barely knew him. So, we're not as safe as you think we are. There's obviously some very angry dickhead sharks around here who were abused by the parents when they were younger. Just look at the motion. Oh, it's just so fluid and it just... <laughs> it's going to sound weird even though I'm holding a controller in my hands right now. It just feels really smooth. Really smooth. Let's get on with it. Shall we? Trippy. New zone? What other terrifying creatures are going to destroy my robots for me? 
gonna get caught up in this, aren't we? Ooh, hello. Oh, cool. I can sort of recruit fish. The music's great. The music's absolutely amazing. I feel like I'm in a Disney movie. Without any Nazi references. I'm sorry the commentary's a bit light, but I don't think there's really anything to say. I can understand now why the setting for fish quality was, was there, because holy shit, there's a lot of fish on the screen. It's nice to have a PC that can handle it as well. I'm still pretty new to this decent frame rate and good games with quality being recorded. Absolute breathtaking first 10 minutes of a game. Fuck me. Sorry I'm so sweary that I always am and I always will be. I just don't I just don't know what, it's, what the game's trying to do and I'm totally fine with it because it's, it's great. Ah, uh, yes, a robot to replace my dead one. I seem to have lost... Didn't I have one already? Oh. I must have lost one. Maybe it died when I opened the door. I don't know. Not to worry. I just really enjoy the vibrancy of the colours and the sort of the variation in well, everything. I'm assuming I'm supposed to get these fish to follow me. And if I am, then fuck yeah, I'm winning. Where's the scoreboard? I don't want to know a kill count. Oh, holy shit, killer whales. What's up, yo? Wanna ride one? Ride one. Oh my god, <laughs> it's just incredible. I didn't know what to expect, so I'm absolutely blown away. And I don't even know why, because <laughs> it's not even really doing anything. I'll stop fanboying now, I apologize.
Free Willy, fuck yeah! It's getting a bit ominous now. Is there a boss fight coming or something? I do hope not, because I'm feeling nice and relaxed. It's a strange feeling. <laughs> Back at the uh, underwater, above water castle thing. sort of thing in a movie with um, what was it called? Surface? No. From what it is, I'll, I'll put the picture of the DVD cover on it. I just can't remember what I'm talking now. Where they find something under the ocean and they touch it and it makes everyone go absolutely fucking mental. I'm very doubtful it's inspired by that, but rings a bell. The void. It's got the fucking void. Back on topic, sorry. I keep unlocking these little Egyptian sort of palaces under the water. I wonder what it all means. Oh my god, what's that? I want to get in that. Get in that. I want to be involved. Love me! Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I like that so much, but it's cool. I just, I just came out of there. Is there something down here I need to go and see? There's some really big fish down here. I have a really strange fear of deep water. I always make you feel very uneasy. Because you never, never know what's beneath you. And I stand by it right now, because... This is sort of freaking me out a little bit. Can I ride them? Ha! Oh, I can. No way. This is really, really cool. I mean, whoever thought of this game was on a shit ton of drugs when they came up with it, but. Good god. Go through there. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me really happy. It's a strange game. Hit your ride on my humpback whale. No problem. Don't try this in real life. I, I, I imagine it will end in tears. Probably that of your parents or significant others. How did he die? Well. He drowned. I'm trying to ride a hunt my whale. Next zone we go. Sort of big old green chain. Anchor, maybe? Cool. 
cool, man. Can I grab that? I'd like to ride some more fish. What's this called? Sun. Ah, oh, I've heard about these. These are the ones that lie at the bottom of the ocean and attack when they're disguised. It's like, which side's the top, though? I know that, that bit's the front, probably. But I don't know. That's why I don't like the sea, because there's so much shit in there. We, we know, I think we know less about the sea than we do about space, which is absolutely ridiculous, since the sea is right, literally right beneath us. Not all the time, but it's right here. Whereas space is fucking miles away. Cool shit, though. Release those fishes. Maybe I'm a sea keeper or something. Person who looks after the sea. I just have to go down there. Nice some fish, you mate. Following the green chain by the look of it. Raise the gate. There's two sides. There must be another area over there. Sweet. Open sesame. Pretty sure I saw a manatee over here. Oh, yes, I did. Cool. Can I touch it? I'm going to ride it. It's a ginger one. Squeaks, I'm pretty sure that was a fart. Oh, manatees are quick. Not very easy to steer, though. Okay, you're, you're just not great to drive. Totem. Very unusual. Is there anything through here? Aha! Yes, there is. Whatever that is. Oh, there's a little octopus. Go back down. Go back down. I'll see it. <laughs> it's hiding underneath the vase. I fucking I hate octopus. <laughs> really creepy, but that one's kind of cute. I'll give him that. Par parents must be proud of you. Cool. 
cool. Let's get this area lit up. There is something slightly ominous about this game. But I think it adds an element of difference. They were all really colourful and happy all, happy all the time. It wouldn't feel as strange. That's a terrible description. It's like he's giving part of his soul to regenerate that part of the ocean. It's a weird looking fish. Is that one of those ones that opens its mouth and catches thousands of little fish? I think it is. Awesome. that's probably a good place to end this video of Abzu. I'm fairly confident Abzu is how you pronounce it. It's one of the first times I've played a video game and not understood it and not had an issue with that. Because it's both visually beautiful and audio is just absolutely stunning. So yeah, this has been Abzu. And if you've liked this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. And until next time, Captain Gujan, out.